Uh, Darren, we spoke Saturday that you wanted a response, and I assume that's exactly what you'll be after tomorrow night. Just got to ask more questions and have more attempts on goal, and just you know play better than we did on Saturday. I thought we did okay, but okay is not good enough. Handled the ball and moved the ball around. Difficult against any team that plays with 10, 11 players behind the ball. But that's the theme of this season. A lot of teams are respecting that we handle the ball. Um, but what we've got to do is is be better at breaking teams down. And, you know, and it's it's frustrating for me because it, we do a hell of a lot of work on it. Um, but we didn't create enough opportunities to to win the game and put the game comfortable. You know, uh, one nil always gives the opposition a chance. They would believe that, you know, they would get an opportunity, whether it, however it comes. Obviously, it came in a via a set piece, but game should have been over by then. You know, we should we should have the game we should have been a lot more comfortable than it was. And there's only there's only one set of people to blame, and that's ourselves. How important is it we use the home advantage and obviously a slightly bigger pitch to our advantage tomorrow night? Yeah, I mean, a, a nicer surface will will maybe play its part, but you know, I don't want to I don't want to use the size of a pitch and all of that as excuses. You know, we had enough, we had a strong enough team on Saturday, and we had more than enough ability on the pitch to have won the game on Saturday, um, and we didn't have enough on the day, which is which is extremely disappointing for everyone. And Josh Walker comes into this game four goals in his last five matches. It seems to be losing confidence at the moment. Just how brilliant he been over the last few games? Yeah, I still think he can play better. You know, I think his goals have have got him his headlines at the minute. But there's still more to come. There's still lots for Josh to learn. But he's he's a good kid with with a big future in front of him if he keeps listening and learning. And, and we have got some good young players here. But you know, I, I, I maybe stated on Saturday that I'm guilty at the minute I've, I've made these players and one or two of these younger boys feel like they're quite invincible I've made them feel that they're maybe ahead of where they actually are and better than what they are but so I take responsibility for for that you know but where I'm trying to make these boys believe that we're a good side and I won't ever come away from that I know I know we disappointed people on Saturday but I won't I won't ever turn my back on these these players and this team because I, I do believe it's very fine lines and, and we're, we're close. Josh, Efron, where's Jack Taylor, Harry Taylor, you know, all these young boys, young Donny, you know, there's a real good young crop coming through here. Um, and part of learning is games like Saturday where you, you know, you maybe get slightly complacent and you don't put a game to bed that should be very comfortable, but it's all part of the learning, you know. I'm I'm still learning myself, aren't I? You know, I'm, I'm still new to this, but there's no excuses for what went on on Saturday. It's it's a game that we should have won, um, and we're looking to put that right tomorrow night. Obviously, horrible injury for Alfie on Saturday. Mm. Any update on that? And any other knocks on the weekend? No, no other knocks. Um, Alfie, from what we hear, he went. He got rushed straight to hospital after the game. It looks like it. it it possibly wasn't a break, so he managed to go home Saturday evening. He's had a scan here at the Hive this morning, um, and we're just waiting for the results back. Could be ligament damage, could be a, a fracture maybe in the ankle, but he's in a lot of pain with it. Um, so it, it's a real shame for him. And But the the small plus we take is it looks like it's not a break, but... All will be confirmed later today. And listen, I'll apologise again because I know I've come in for some flack over the weekend that we didn't go over and clap the fans. And that's nothing to do with the performance or them booing us. That was all down to everyone went in and wanted to see how Alfie was. So, you know, it, it happened right at the end of the game and he was in agony on the pitch. So everyone's first thought was to get in there. Um, so, you know, I know people have had a pop at me and that, but that's not the case. I wanted to see how one of my players was. And uh, just lastly, the spirit amongst the team seem, still seems to be really high and the boys obviously get on brilliantly. How 
can a win tomorrow night just extend that feel good factor? Listen, that the spirit is high. They're a good group of lads, and like I, I, I'll keep reiterating, you know, we're close. I'm not smoke screening or covering up a result on Saturday that we know we should have won. Simple. Um, we got an opportunity to put that right tomorrow night, and then we got a couple of tough league games coming up. But two points off the playoffs, seven points off the top of the league. You know, hopefully get a good draw tonight and, and get through in the replay tomorrow and we're not in the worst place in the world um, we want to be in a better place I'm like every fan everyone connected with the club we want to be four, five, six points better off and we want to be through uh, in the next round of the cup so I'm the same as everyone I'm frustrated um, but I'm prepared to get me head down and work with these boys and, and turn it round like we always are